there are a lot of people out there right now that are talking about things like uh, neuromarketing, uh, neuroeconomics. And they're based on this idea that now that we can sort of peek inside of a working brain, that you know, we, can, we can be much more precise in how we, we do things. Uh, but unfortunately, a lot of that is the science isn't there yet. I mean, the, using a functional magnetic resonance imaging device to, you know, figure out what's the best color to make your product. You know, I'll strap a guy in, a, in an fMRI and I'll run him through this thing and then, hey, I'll have the best, you know, branding, you know, stuff for you, um, is silly. And, and the reason why is because, you know, the machine, your brain doesn't work that way. The machine is looking at blood flow, which takes, you know, seconds to occur. Um, the brain is working in hundreds of seconds. So, I mean, you're seeing stuff long after whatever the thought is. And then we do a lot of reverse inference to try to figure it out. But, I mean, we're kind of like, uh, you know, Galileo having the first telescope. I mean, yeah, we're, yeah, we can see the rings of Saturn, but we still can't see distant galaxies. And we're just beginning to sort of see this. And so my approach to this has been that there is a lot we can do with the information we have now. Um, as opposed to the information we might wish we had. And this is a very different kind of a framework. So there are some companies, there's, uh, uh, there's uh, I know Zoltman's doing this with uh, deep metaphors. Um, there's other companies that are using, you know, some of the technologies, you know, I mean, we, we've done everything from galvanic skin response to, you know, uh, you know EKGs or, or, you know, EEGs. And, you know, to me, I, I think that what's neat is that, we can actually look at this the exact opposite, which is this simplifies things. I know that it really is about how many times a customer does something. I know that the way a habit forms is that there are a strengthening of neural, neural connections in the brain in specific parts of the brain. I know how that works. I know, I know that process now. And so a large part of that, and by, I mean, I, I mean, we know how that works. Um, and, and what's really neat about that is that for so many companies now, and, and just a quick anecdote, I helped Sprint and Samsung develop the new Instinct phone. So the Instinct phone was built based on this framework. So the whole idea behind this is, how do you make something habit-forming? So I thought about this kind of in two very basic ways. One is habit-forming things. So like there is, you know, GPS in this phone, but most of the time you know where you're going. So most of the time you wouldn't be checking the GPS. So I'm trying to get people to use it habitually versus using, you know, Google Maps or using maybe their Garmin or, you know, the system in their car. I want them using the phone. So there are certain things that I put in the phone, that I had to put in the phone that were, you'd use all the time. So one of the things I did was to put traffic on there so that when you go to the maps, you have a button you hit and it gives you traffic. Because the idea is I live in Atlanta, so anybody who's in a, you know, in a high commute city, every time you get in the car, you check traffic. And so the idea was you'll do that every day, that will become a habit. And so everything about the phone was how are you going, you know, what would you do enough times to make it an automatic thing? The other part of it is to make decisions that are not habit breaking. So you, know, you don't do something that's going to take something from an unconscious process to a conscious process. So, you know, one of the things that, that about the phone is you've got to get an unlimited data plan on it. And the reason why is not just because, you know, we want to extract more money. It's the idea that it's the opposite idea, which is we want you to use it without thinking about it. If you in the back of your mind, you think the meter's running. If I do this, it's going to cost me more money. How much is that going to cost me? Then I can't automate that because consciously I'm always going to be worried about it. I, I don't know if you've ever got one of those shock phone bills, but I certainly have. Where you're going like, you know, I didn't budget $300 for a cell phone bill this month. And so, you know, the idea is that, that as soon as you, you, you have that happen, then that goes to conscious awareness. And, and my big message right now is that in a down economy, as, as we're facing a lot of challenges, a lot of decisions that used to be automatic aren't anymore.